Today, we're talking about the top 10 tips or hacks for you to move easily. Hey, this is David Klein Lovett, broker owner, Next Home First Choice Realty. We make videos every single week. In fact, we make two. One, a how-to, I call it Real Estate Made Easy or Real Estate 101 and a virtual tour so you can look at property without even getting out of your pajamas today the top 10 hacks or tips to help you move easily number one you want to start early yes start early one thing and the biggest thing is you got to make sure that your truck is available whether you have movers do it or even yourself so reserve it early. You know, you're probably moving on a weekend and so is everybody else. So reserve that truck, okay? Another thing you wanna do is vet the movers. Last thing you wanna do is put everything you own in a truck and the next thing you know, the truck is in Canada. Empty without any of your stuff in it and you aren't even moving to Canada. Oh my God. Vet them. You can Google them. Yelp them, better business them. Make sure if, if they're cheap, there's probably a reason. You want to probably pay pretty well. Okay, that's number two, vet the movers. Three, spring cleaning. You gotta do yard sales and get rid of stuff and get rid of clutter and you gotta do it, you know, half the time or more, people have the yard sale after they move. Hello? Have the yard sale before you move. Make it a lot easier. Let's say, for instance, you know, they charge per cubic foot or yard or box or whatever. You're going to pay a whole lot more, all right? So you don't want to do that. Especially, what, what if it was a, a big table or something? You know, you could sell your dining room table. You're going to move it over there, pay for it, and then sell it anyway. So have a yard sale. So there's three ways with a yard sale, three things. First, Sell it at the yard sale. Don't sell it at the yard sale. All right. So then, or throw it away. So yard sale. The second one is Goodwill or um, Salvation Army. Take it there. If it's too junky, just throw it out. Another thing you can do is I'll leave it out. I've left a left a chair out one time. Said free on it. I watched a guy two doors down watching a football game, drinking a beer in it. Like 20 minutes later. So number three is spring cleaning. Number four is your own packing. This could save you all kinds of money. Boxes, you can get, especially now, just order stuff online. You're gonna be full, have all the boxes you need. Get more than you'd like, go behind Vons or Kmart or Walmart or whatever, pick up the boxes. If you're real organized, you can call first, say, hey, you got some boxes for me? I just drive around and pick them all up. So go get your own boxes. And here is a hack that my father taught me you get an exacto knife, one of these these things, be really careful with it. And you cut out a handhold for the heavy stuff. Check that out. So smart. Thank you, Dad. He did he did do some things right, and that was a good one. Alright. So another thing is when you when you move, you want to put everything in boxes, use as many boxes as possible. Alright. So to make it easier. And you want to label them. All right, so this one says cleaning, cleaning first. And I label it on all four sides because you never know where you're going to be looking, all right? So and then you label everything. Now, I wrote cleaning first, okay? Now, here's something when you move and you pack, you might not be thinking about. First thing's on, last thing's off. But wait a minute, what if you're moving, you want to clean first? So what, so hit your, first of all, you mark it, and then what do you do? You pack it last. Last thing on, first thing off, all right? So you wanna do that. Also, you're gonna wanna get a, a pack, a day or two or three stuff, and maybe take it in your car. Who knows, the truck might get lost, you can't find it. You wanna have some pajamas, you wanna have toiletries, all that kind of stuff, a towel, for the first night or two so so do that okay another thing with your suitcases 
say this is another suitcase, make sure and use it. Pack it, pack it. Your backpack, it's even in the name, pack. Use your backpack, put stuff in it. Don't just put it in another box. That's one more box you don't have to do. Um, all of your, your, your bags that you use for, for grocery and all that, look at all these. Man, I can pack half my stuff in that. Woohoo! Like, it's easier, it's, it takes care of things. Okay, another thing, beautiful ideas here. You have any paper plates? Put the paper plates between your plates. Isn't that great? So let's say you really don't want it to break. Get your towels, your bl blankets, your towels, and your sheets. Don't pack those either. Use it for packing to make things so they don't break, all right? So I didn't put that in there because I've got another hack for you. Check this out. Got your silverware here. Put it in uh, plastic wrap and just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. And now you're done. It's all done. And don't forget to do what? Mark it. You wanna mark everything. So also, you want to wear, let's talk about what you want to wear, okay? And first of all, you notice I have gloves on. Because when you're carrying heavy stuff, it's not just going to be like a small box like this. You're going to be carrying, you know, couches, and you're, you might even be carrying a refrigerator, for crying out loud. Um, dressers, the dining room table. So when you have gloves, these are bicycle gloves, and they have pads. Okay. Also, you might want to put your sleeves down so you don't scrape up your arm. And bring something with pockets. You're going to want a Sharpie and some tape for the boxes. So look, if you notice, I put it away. I knew right where it was. Boom. Right there. Okay. Now, another so thing is you want to take pictures, number five. Take pictures of everything so you can put it back together when you get wherever you're going. All right? Pictures. Clothing, we talked, started to talk about that. The gloves, long sleeves, comfortable clothing, boots. Last thing you wanna do is just mess up your foot. Look, if I, if I see you, if I even have any idea, somebody tells me you're moving in barefoot or in sandals, I am gonna get you. You wanna wear boots, all right? So, plastic clothing, I talked about it again. Number seven is label everything. Label, 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 label. Okay. And um, also, I want to be one of some of your last on, first off, would be all your toiletries, your toilet paper, again, your cleaning supplies, all of that stuff. Okay. So that's number eight. Pack all that stuff, put it on last, or even take it with you in your car. Number nine, you might not even think about it, and this would be terrible. You want to make sure when you move that the, did you guess? Utilities are on. You gotta have utilities unless you wanna move and pack in the dark, okay? And that's number nine. And lastly, you want to ask for help. Last time I moved, I had two people help me move the night before, packing, packing. Actually, I had four, packing, packing, packing. And then I had another like four or five people come the morning of. Then I moved about an hour away and I had a whole set, only one person came, if he drove the truck for me, in fact, came, uh, drove. And then I had another crew to help me unpack. Okay, and you also want to, uh, one more thing is, Label all the things where everything goes. So if it's your friends and you're moving and they know where, where it goes. They'll, they'll, my friend did, it was so great. She had signs everywhere, all throughout the house. So it would match. If you're like, really, um, I hate to use the word, but anal, you could color code it. So that's it. So start early, vet the movers, do uh, spring cleaning, uh, do your own packing, take pictures, Wear comfortable clothes, label everything, pack a travel bag to make sure the utility's on or ask for help, the 10th thing. Thank you for watching. This is David Klein Levitt. 
Um, if you click right over here, you can find out how to sell your home yourself. Go figure. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you thought about the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time because we do have videos each and every week.